Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science channel. Before we start our exercise, please like this video and share with your classmates. Now, let's go for our exercise. Replace the force and couple moment system acting on the overhang beam by resultant force and specify its location along AB measure from point A. So here, first we're gonna find the resultant force in X, so the sum of force in X. I have here, pointing to the right, one force, and here, pointing to the left, another force. So the first force is 26 times 5 over 13 minus minus 30 times sine of 30 degrees. So the sum of forces in x direction is equal 10 minus 15. So our sum of forces in x direction is minus 5 kilonewtons. Doing the same approach, we have the sum of forces in y direction is equal. Here, I have my force pointing down, and here, I also have my force down. So here, I have minus 26 times 12 over 13 minus 30 cosine of 30 degrees. So here I have the sum of forces in y direction is equal minus 24 minus 26. So the sum of forces in y direction is equal minus 50 kilo newtons. Now we're gonna do what the moment about point A, because we have to specify a distance measure from A. So here we have to find the sum of moments about A, remembering that counterclockwise is positive. So here I'm gonna have minus 45 kilonewton meter, that's our moment, and now we're gonna find first the moment that that force does. So here I have minus 26 times 12 over 13 times six. That's the distance until the point that my force is being applied. Minus 26 times five over 13 times 0.3 and now the force that I have so we have minus 30 times cosine of 30 times 2 plus 30 times sine of 30 times 0.3 if we do the algebra, we have the sum of moments about point A is equal minus 239.5 kilonewton meter. If it's minus, it's because it's going clockwise. Now, we have a force that is pointing down minus 50 kilonewtons and pointing to the left is equal minus five kilonewtons and generates a moment that equals minus 239.5 kilonewtons meter. Now we're gonna find the distance starting from point A until our force that generates a moment of minus 239.5 kilonewtons. So here, the only force that generates moment is our y force. So we can do the sum 
of the moments is equal to the force times our distance they're gonna call x so here's our x the sum of the moments is minus 239.5 our force is minus 50 and we're gonna find our x so here our x is equal 4.79 meters so we find the uh, the distance and now our resultant force is equal minus 5 square plus minus 50 is square so our resultant force the magnitude of our resultant force is 50.2 kilonewtons and to find our angle here minus 5 here is our 50 so our angle we're gonna find this angle theta here we know that the tangent of theta is equal 50 over 5 so our theta is equal 84.3 degrees so now we found everything that's required we find our resultant force with the angle or minus 5 and minus 50 and we found the distance that our force generates a moment about point a of minus 239.5 thanks for watching till the end don't forget to like the video and subscribe on the channel thank you